Mm -hmm. Alright, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Listen, man. If you want to donate to Sketchpad, links in the description. Uh, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing out there? You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all. We over 11,000 subscribers. I remember when we was at 50. And now look at us now. The Jeffersons. Moving on up. Who raised you? Oh my god, this shit is so hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I yeah, can't I understand it neither. Anyways, um, so we're gonna talk about this Cassie giving her, giving her, her uh phone, the burner phone, and you with you jump drive and all this stuff over to the feds because there's some incriminating evidence on there and all this stuff, and we'll be back. All right, man, listen, man. So. I'm going to, I'm going to give my take on this whole thing and then, um, you can give your take. Then we out of here. Look, I'll be honest with y'all. I don't even believe that. I didn't see that nowhere. I didn't read that anywhere. I don't believe that this Cassie gave her phone. My thing is if she participated in these acts knowingly and willingly, how can you give it and, and, and who, who recorded this stuff? Who recorded this? And somebody had a the, the girl said a, something about a burner phone. Mm -hmm. If it's a burner phone and it's supposed to have been from years ago. So let me get this right. They kept this stuff. So she kept the stuff, Cassie. So she had a USB drive that had her on a USB drive doing sexual explicit acts to guys, to, to people, for this guy. And um, she never reported that. She never said anything about it. So to me, this, this whole story sounds kind of suspect. Cause it's like, okay, don't you think that this would be on the main news outlets? If if Puff Daddy was under the investigation by the federal government, the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, right? Don't you think that that would have been on the news? Where's these YouTubers getting their information from? Because I don't understand it. If, if Puff was if the case of him and her was closed, he paid the money, they settled out of court. I'm sure that once they settled out of court, whatever happened, the lawyers, if they were smart, which most lawyers are smart, if they're smart, they're writing something saying whatever evidence or whatever things come out, he can't be charged for any criminal acts. And first of all, he wasn't even charged for anything criminal. Buffy didn't have a charge. She just basically said she was going to write a tell-all book. And he paid her to shut up. Right? He didn't He he didn't go to... He didn't get locked up. He didn't go to jail. You know what I'm saying? He didn't go... I, that's it. He, I mean... He didn't get convicted. I don't know if he had a charge, but he didn't get convicted of anything. So, for me, whoever's telling these stories about the burner phone... Oh, she had uh what they said was the girl kiki palmer kiki mm -hmm. palmer, burner phone how does she even get involved i don't understand that part so kiki palmer's burner phone and cassie has a jump drive and she gave and her boyfriend convinced her to give the stuff up to the guy so wait 
me get this right. Did the FBI contact her or did she contact the FBI? And was it after they had signed an agreement? Because I'm sure that they signed an agreement that she can't say anything. So you give the FBI the information, like some criminating information. After you agree that this guy pays you the money. So you give them the information now, the FBI, why you didn't do that in the beginning? I don't understand it. So I think it's all cap and I think people just making up stuff just to keep the story going. That's it. I have to see, I have to see the paperwork. I have to see this. I have to. And another thing too, before I let you go. Um, there was a one, there was one thing that was said, and this is why I said I don't believe anything that these people say on YouTube, because most of them are stupid, right? There's one thing that they said that she did, that, that Puffy did, that's totally against the law, right? And they know this is against the law. They might not know this, but there's a such thing as called HIPAA law. There's a such thing as called the Privacy Act, right? Mm -hmm. And if a hospital or a doctor was to share your information with somebody else, you can sue the hospital or doctor, and I believe you even sue the, the state. So there were people saying that Puffy, which they wasn't married, right? They wasn't married, right? Mm -hmm. He wasn't married. So Puffy was receiving her information from the hospital. Her yeah, I heard about that too. <clears throat> right. Yeah. How was he doing that? How? How can? How? How can? And I know, I know people say, "Well, he's a powerful man." No, ain't nobody that powerful. Let's get this correct. Women that is at the hospital who see that this girl is being beaten by a man, you think that they're gonna be okay with that? You think nobody's gonna say nothing? Everybody's gonna keep quiet. Nobody's gonna say nothing. No, there's gonna be some women that be like, "I don't want your money. I don't care about your money. Ain't no way in the world I'm gonna let this woman keep getting her ass beat." You know what I'm saying? So that was all a lie. But they put it out there. It was even in, it, it, even in whatever they called the discovery or whatever that he was doing. It. So my thing is, okay, Cassie or whoever, whoever wrote that. She, the Puffy had the hospital send her medical records to him through email. You can't even do that through email. Not personally. Now he ain't gonna pick it up. They sent it through email. So they sent it through email, which you can't do. But for some reason, people were spitting this like, yeah, he, he got her medical records, and 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 in this way, nobody knew that she was hurt. Come on, man. That's that's cat, man. That's cat. You can't even do that, man. Because guess what? You know who else she would have sued besides Puffy? The hospital and the doctors for giving her, her medical information away. And she would have got billions for that. Easily. That's an easy slam dunk case right there. Hospitals don't supposed to give you a medical record. They, you can't even call and ask for someone's medical records. You know, and it's, and again, I'm gonna let you go. But there's so much I gotta say. You know, oh, you know during uh, I didn't want to say the word, but you know during C19, right? You know there was yeah. some. You know what C19 is? Nah, explain. The 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 pandemic, the the pandemic. The oh, okay, pandemic. okay, okay, all right. Right. All right. Um, I don't want to say the word because you know. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Anyway, I got you. Um, you know that the reason why most people a lot of people didn't get the test for that for c19 because you know literally they was faking their tests right because you know you can literally write on a piece of paper type it on a piece of paper that you are negative and no one can call anybody and ask them because there's a privacy act so if you were positive and you went to work and you wrote on a piece of paper, type, typed on a piece of paper with a, with a, somebody, the, the urgent care, whoever at the top, and you took it to the to the to the to your job, and you said, "Here's my note. I'm negative." You know that your job can't call an axe. You know that, right? 
Who are they going to call? They're going to say, oh, I need to know if this person was COVID, or or this person C19 was negative. They're going to say, we can't give you that information. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Try to to call, try to call and ask for, try to call, try, well, not you, but you can't. They won't give you the information. You know, another thing, you know that um, when you get, when you get the test done, they, they can't see the results either, right? You know, only you can see the results. So you know, it's, well, yeah, yeah. You know, only you can see the results. But you know, the crazy part is, your job don't even supposed to ask you for the results. I know. But they do it anyway, because they because you allow it. Not you, but people allow it. But like I said, that's cat, and that's a lie, and that couldn't that couldn't have been true. Everything else could have been true, but that right there is a lie, and that's why I said. The story to me falls flat. If that one part falls flat and they putting in there, then imagine that they put a bunch of other lies. In. Like, no, I'm not trying to hear that. So it is what it is. But go ahead. I didn't mean to go so long, but good luck. Nah, <clears throat> a lot of that stuff you didn't say, I did not know. I'm not even going front. And uh like like I told you, uh sometimes I fall I fall for the you know what I mean some of those things, you know, cause you really don't know. You really don't know. Like, uh, when you, when you see all these things, like you, you really like genuinely believe it. If you don't pay attention to the, uh, signals to the signs when you, you genuinely believe it. And sometimes like I will watch these, these, uh, reports and this and that, and it would look very, very convincing. You know, so if there isn't people like you or other people that or 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 uh or or blocking out the fake and like reporting the real, then you know what I'm saying, there'd be a lot of people that'd be blinded, you know. Uh I didn't know that about C nineteen. I did not know that. And um there's some other stuff that you said that I know is a hundred percent facts now that you say it and now that I think about it, but I'll say that to you off camera, but, but yeah, you know, it's crazy, man. Uh, you know, caught me for a whirlwind on that one, but yeah, I, that's what it is, man. And yeah. That, and that's why I say the whole thing about that whole thing about Cassie and Diddy. There's a lot of lies in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know if you want to side with her, it's cool, but you can't tell me that she's playing innocent. She's been innocent the whole time. Like, no. You knew what you was getting yourself into. And she looks it ain't gonna say I'm just gonna say from her behavior that I seen, she looks toxic too. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody gonna be this nice like listen, man. Y'all don't understand. Just like, just like, and, and, and I hate to say this, but just like, just like the men are evil at in Hollywood and in the music industry, there's a lot of hoes and there's a lot of women who are bad, just as bad, or even worse. So I wish people stopped saying that. But anyway, I mean, you got anything else you're going to say? Or that's it. Yeah, uh, the one more thing I wanted to uh, say too, like, yeah, when they were making those reports about him uh, having possession of all her medical files and all that type stuff, at first, I definitely believed it because of the simple fact that he is a very powerful, you know, person in general, as far as money and everything. But then when you think about it, and then you break it down, you're like, nah, there's no way he could be able to do that. Because then if that is true, right, she can sue the doctor's office, the do- hospital, the doctors, him, whoever. They, she could do all that, you know? It's facts. You know, I, I don't... Man, listen. Like, news is just be boggled all, all, all over the place at times, man. It's crazy. It be all over the place, man. So, you know, I'm going to start learning how to just wait 
until the actual information comes out completely before I could decide to say, oh, this is real or this is fake, because you could easily get uh, tangled up in all that madness. That's true. And, you know. Like I said, man, that was good. Yeah. We out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye.